faster now and i'm gonna start recording start oh, recording nervous. on the video take one he's nervous action and we're live fellas yeah those and we're live oh wait wait i gotta take this little uh good evening wait hold on one second i gotta take this icon out good evening. this is not hosted by skype even though we are using skype what is it hosted by let them it's know. hosted by Theodos, yeah. and until we find a uh, advertiser, it's gonna stay that way. Independent, we're gonna advertise our own shit. Theodos, yo, who could we bring on as a sponsor? Jandora, Jandora, if you're listening to this, need some money. <laughs> <laughs> we need that label money. Um, okay, so Theodos podcast after like a whole year almost. Uh, interviewing OG Lil Jit, aka nice. Mo Duce, aka Mo Duce. Yeah, tell us about this. Tell us about that. That name switch. Tell up. us about the name switch up. Yeah. Yeah, I just felt like it was just fitting for me. For me, my favorite drinks do say, you know, I'm out in Maryland. <laughs> Everybody be labeling you as a Mo. You feel me? And I need Mo Duce. You feel me? Put them together, baby. Dang, bringing out that Jay Z product. Yeah, if I say we off the so, henny. We off the henny now. We it's all do say for us. No Henny? No Just do say? Just do say. Just put, we keeping it dark always? We keeping it dark. dark so, yeah, you feel me? Sometimes we might get the hypnotic. Oh, the hypnotic. Keeping that vintage. Keeping it retro. <laughs> Yo, Mara out here. All right. Mara, how we, uh, how we holding up on the quarantine? It's tough out Shit. here. It is. It is. Where's everybody at right now? Shit, I'm out Maryland. in Maryland. The niggas is on Maryland? lockdown. Big lockdown vibes. What about I'm you, Mara? I'm over in Shepherdstown, holding it down. Damn. Dog, I mean, I feel like everyone's kind of like, at this point, they're like, all right, we kind of get it. Like, we've been doing this for like over a month now. Yeah, but it kind of sucks. Times, like, yeah, facts. Like, get us up out of here. Yeah. Things are suffocating. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn right now, so it's kind of like, if you leave, you're kind of super guilty because it's like the fucking epicenter. Oh, yeah, facts. Right, you're rather you're in the middle of it. Yeah, facts. All right, so we have our guest. So throughout this podcast, like we know you personally, um, but how do you want us to like call you? Shit, sure, I mean, you can call me OG, you can call me Line, you can call me Mo. You feel me? It don't even right. matter, baby. You got aliases out here. You got multi multitude of names. <laughs> facts. All right, well. That so tell us every tell, few months. Yeah. Well, I, I kinda wanna get into like I, like this interview. I mean, we're friends for a long time, but Facts. I don't know. Like we kinda want like this interview to, to serve as like a like to use to tell your story. So tell us uh, a little bit of like how you started with music, first and foremost. I would say like the start of it. Like I ain't even wanna rap for real. I was just watching my friends rap, watching mm-hmm. everybody around me rap, freestyle, not take it serious for real. And it was like one day, they was like, just hop on the mic, just freestyle something. Man, ain't gotta be serious, you feel me? So I just did it playing around. And then when I did it, when I was playing around, I was like, dang, I can kind of see myself doing this more often. So I just went with it since then. And, and this is around like, this is around like high school time? Yeah, this was, yeah, this was like ninth, this was like eighth grade, ninth grade. So I really exactly. started, I really started when I was in like eighth grade. This is Charleston, West, Charlestown, West Virginia, right? Yeah, when I started rapping. Yeah. Yeah, I started rapping in Charlestown. I had just yeah, moved yeah, from yeah. Oxen Hill. Where's that? Uh, in Maryland, PG County. Mm. Yeah, I had just left from there. I was going to Shugart Middle School. Then I came to West Virginia. Military, How was that, military uh, stuff. Oh, military, because one of your family yeah. was in the military? Yeah. So how did you... Uh, like, how did you take that culture, that culture shock? Was it a culture shock for you? Definitely. I was confused. Like, at first I was on strike, you feel me? Like, in my house, I wasn't going nowhere. Like, I was Big just chilling in the crib. I was like, dang, we going from from that to this. But at the same time, I could kind of see how it was just like a blessing because it was uh, easier for people like us to navigate now. It wasn't so hard. Yeah, how was the, uh, how was like life in PG County? It was fun, but at the same time, it was dangerous. You know what I'm saying? This is when you were young. Yeah, this is when I was young. I seen a lot of this when I was young. Just just in the like little time frame that I was out there, and I could like understand life. I was just starting to understand life, and it was just so hectic out there. It was so it was crazy going from that. It was I wouldn't say it was like a really bad negative environment, but 
it was a tough environment. Going from that tough environment to an easier environment, I could see why they would want that change. Word. Right. And, like, when you moved to West Virginia, you it took some time to get in used to. And from from the time you moved to the time you started, like, rapping and shit, like, how yeah. far was that? From the time, uh... Or, or what happened between that? It was probably, like, it was probably, like, a good six, seven months. Oh, so that's not long at all. Since you came to West Virginia? Yeah. Because, like, they were, everybody I was around, well, everybody I become, become became around, like, they was already doing it. So I'm just, I'm already sitting there watching them do it, and I'm just like, dang, I ain't into that. You know what I'm saying? That's not for me. I'm not going to be doing that. Y'all got it for now. Then they finally convinced me one day, and I just kept going with it. I had to. Damn. I remember that, actually, like, in, in, in high pressured school. into the rapping. Facts, literally. Yeah. We all went to the same high school, by the way. Facts. It's uh, crazy how uh, me and Reese moved to West Virginia at the same time and met in the oh, fucking... Yeah. Oh yeah, tell me about that. What how was that? What was that about? Like Reach that origin story. Him. Um I, don't even remember. I think I think we went into well for me, I was going into the counselor's office or something to pick Wait, raise your mic a little. Raise your mic a little, yeah. So I was going into the counselor's office to pick up uh, my schedule because I had just moved and I was going to the um what's it called? The middle school? Uh Charlestown. You went to Charlestown? Yeah, yeah. 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 And as I was going in there, I see Talon in there. Well, I didn't know him at the time, but yeah, that, that, that shit was funny. <laughs> that's that's before I cut my hair. My hair was long as a motherfucker. Right. Oh, he had the real long hair back then. <laughs> yeah, my hair was long as a motherfucker. They made me cut my, well, I cut my shit because I drank junior ROTC and then I quit out because that joint was lame. I was like, why am I in this, bro? I can't do this. That's in high school though, right? <laughs> yeah, that's going to, yeah. The yeah, ROTC? Yeah, that was Yo. going in the ninth. Word, word. Uh, I was going to say, um, so y- y'all met, like, so y'all pretty much came to, to yeah, West Virginia, transferred. like, school the first day. Yeah. Like, on the first day, y'all moved in. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. But, but did, but did you guys become friends period. that year, too? Yeah, we had first period together, too. That's what made it crazier. Oh, okay, okay. But, like, we just went from the uh, the, count, the guy's counselor to first period. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what funny. was the first period? Computer jump. Yeah, the keyboard. Yeah, if I see how fast you can type. Oh shit! I think uh, I I came to West Virginia a year later, but when my first class after coming in as a new student in Charlestown Middle School was also typing class. I don't know why. <laughs> fact, I wonder if they just like everybody in there. They're just like, all right, typing class. Typing class. Great job. Send them there. What was that teacher's name? Um, I don't remember. I, I messed with some of the settings on his computer, and they kind of like <laughs> kind of like bugged out on me. He was like, "What the." F- Why'd you do that? No, he has a ponytail, you right? I was like, my bad. I think so. I don't know. I don't remember. Forget All right, so none of my teachers. <laughs> so, so I remember, like, also, you had like there was a lot of uh, buzz in high school. Uh, well, first of all, I shot your first music video. Facts. The that was high film. school, right? Yeah, it was high school. Yo, I mean, I always think back and I'm like, damn, like that was the first video I, we ever did. It was the first video we went to the park. That park. What year uh, was that? I don't that? think we dropped it though. I don't know. I think I sent the video and then, and then, uh, uh, Miles was like, "Yo, the audio's a little messed up here," and I was like, "Oh shit." Um, and then I think I I, could, I didn't fix it or I couldn't fix it because the time the my computer every time I was editing the video uh-huh. it crashed. Jeez. It kept crashing and like because I had like this this laptop that really didn't handle it. And it was my first time like editing. They didn't have the video. That jump. Yeah, yeah. I shot the video, my shit kept crashing, and then when Miles was like, "Yo, the audio's off," I was like, "Shit, I really can't tell because my shit is so slow." <laughs> so I guess, I guess maybe that's why you guys never dropped it. But that yeah. was a good time, though. No, that's facts. That's definitely. What song facts. was that? Do you remember that? What song was that? I, don't I, don't remember, I think there was a line about Pikachu or some shit. I don't know, but remember our Abraham Lincoln song? I rem- I remember there was a, a- oh no, a- a- Abraham a- Lincoln. <laughs> Yo, where's that song? That should I want that shit to be on the internet. It's on the nice. SoundCloud somewhere. No, it's not. It's nowhere. I've oh, I've listened to it, so I don't know where. Then, I'm, bro. You you probably found it on a USB drive somewhere. You might have you it. Had to. <laughs> Yo, if you find it, just upload it. Like Facts. we need that. So uh, surprise. We need that drop. Right, I'm marking that. it down. To do. So, <laughs> so tell us more about like your. So, I remember you were part of this group called YTR. Yeah. At what stage was that? Like from the in the beginning. Uh, that's pretty much. 
that was like the beginning for real. It was like, it was like right after the beginning, honestly, because like me, Miles, and my brother John, we had our own little group called Millie Boys, and we was making songs in that jump. And then after that, uh, we added everybody else, like Sean, Twa, everybody. We just started adding people, and when we started adding people, we changed it from Millie Boys to YTR because everybody wanted a name that everybody rocked with. Word. So that was like pretty much the start still. Yo, TBH, that was the first time like uh, that I seen people actually hand out or sell like CD mixtapes at the school. Oh yeah, facts, bro. We were selling them junk, bro. Bro, we were selling them Jones. They were selling out, bro, the CDs, the T-shirts, bro. We was getting so much love, son. That shit was crazy. They was playing out songs at the basketball game, son. Bro, <laughs> that was, we was good times. Really, we was really running it up. I remember y'all had a track that like like shouted like a lot of people out yeah. on the track. And like I think that's what like got y'all buzzing because right. they're like, yo, I got a song on this mixtape. <laughs> so everyone like co- had to cop it. People yeah, love hearing yeah. them. It was good marketing for sure. It was good marketing. It was good marketing. Plus like the power of numbers type shit. In fact, it's like we didn't it have the like, internet either. So like if niggas found out that you could make music, they was definitely trying to find out how to get to it any type of way. <laughs> what did Wright Young Track Rockers? Young Track Rockers. When did when did that run end? Uh, uh, I don't know. It was probably like that was probably only like a one two year run for real. So around the time, around that was like high the time you were about to graduate, right? Yeah. Did you what your your name at the time wasn't OG Logito though or Mo Duce for that fact? No, it was Twigs. <laughs> it was Twigs. That's right. It was <laughs> Twigs. Yeah, Yo, you went through a lot of names though. We got we got. It was it started out with Twigs, right? It's yeah. too many. It's bro. Twigs, how did that name come out? Come about? I think it was just Guinea, bro. I think it's yo. Like, Twigs. <laughs> yo, and then when you started bulking up, you said you started bulking up, and you were like, "I can't be Twigs anymore. I gotta change it." <laughs> bro, I wish I was still bulked like that. Dog. But yeah, I mean, who knows? Twigs. Man? Uh, then I just I just went to my regular name. Oh no, nah, we, we we made it Talon, but we spelled it T I E L A W N. That's the that's the era I'm kind of really interested in because that's when you YTR dropped. So you were part of this group. You guys put out a mixtape like in high school. It got a lot of buzz. And then you were in college. And also, Maro, you were in college. Right. And you guys worked together. And Tylon's name was Tylon, T-I-E-L-A-W-N. Mm-hmm. And Maro was working as a... Uh, were you a producer and engineer or were you just an uh, engineer? No, just engineering at the time. Anything right. Tylon. So this is in Shepherd College, correct? Yeah. yeah. He's getting me right. In the dorms. In the dorms. The Shepherd dorms. University, my bad. There, there's the a dorms. funny story about that, actually. So I had a yeah, yeah. a roommate in Shepherd that uh, got kicked out. So basically, we turned <laughs> my dorm room into a studio and just brought the mic in there and just set it all up. Damn. I, was, I wasn't really there for that, though. So you guys got to tell it all. Damn, How was happened? the... Uh, so you guys had the setup going. What were you guys working on? What were we working on at the time? We was just uh oh uh what was that shit called? Life. We was working on Life, Life and What It Seems. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we was working on that jump. Yeah, we were working Fuck. on Life and What It Seems. I forget how long it took us to work on that. But it was definitely like a few months. Um, oh, and- this is where we got to tie in. Um, we got to tie in the good grind. Oh right. Because around that time was also when we were working on uh. Me and Mara working on that website blog that we low key that we kind of kept low key called the Good Grind, and and that life ain't what it seems was actually hosted by the, by good, the good Grind. Yeah, the Good and Grind. And I made the crazy. cover art. My Photoshop skills back then were terrible. But in fact, we were still making we, it happen though. We were making Everybody it was still listening to it then. Yo, I fucked with that mixtape a lot though. Like, it was it was like a, it. like a like a tribute to the it. old mixtapes because we, we definitely it. took a lot of songs that were already out. Kind of just yeah. remix though. Yeah, it was. I still have it on my uh, on my computer. Yeah, I still have it. It drinks fire. Respect. I do not have that. My my mixing skills yeah. uh weren't that good, but I still fuck with it. You can still you know what I'm saying? You can still hear that drum and be like, Yeah, you got some yeah. We're, we're, we were starting out. You can see the we're... potential in that jump. But yeah, I, I forget and, uh... like the timeline around then it gets all muddy. But we definitely were doing several projects, and we were working on the good one as well. Who who else did you work uh, with on that on that project, like producers and 
were they local or were they people you found online or it was mainly stuff we found online like it was YouTube like it was like remakes or... and stuff oh yeah it was a lot of remakes on that one so yeah. remakes or remixes like uh remixes. using beats that were popular yeah, yeah that oh yeah because like during that time that's like when uh that's like the Lil Wayne No Ceilings Facts. era where, or the Lil Wayne mixtape era where everyone was just like fucking dropping tapes. Yeah, nigga need a tape. That's when Meek Mill had just dropped the tape, made a million off of that bitch. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa making... was dropping yeah, mixtapes around was, that time yeah. too. Yeah, we even had Fire the Meek Mill. Uh, we had the Meek Mill sample in that jump. Yo, yo, I'm not gonna lie. The parties around that time, cause I I was still in like a high school senior. But the parties around that time in West Virginia for me were fucking yeah they were incredible. crazy. That's the, the house parties. If, if there's anything about West Virginia, like them motherfuckers know how to party, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't, it's different now though. It's different now though, cause or at least like I'm fucking too old for that shit. But I remember nigga, you're not too old, bro. Stop acting. I mean, like, like, you go pop out, bro, like, Kevin, go, nigga. You go, know you go. go, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but go to go to anywhere like. It, over there, like I feel like there's no way we're too old. If if there are parties, we don't. They're not there. They're not good. Or if they're right. not, we don't know. If they're, we we don't hear about it. Facts, because we're, 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 we're too old <laughs> <laughs> for those parties. For those parties, I feel it. No, um, but yo, but, but uh, one thing that I want to get about too. Around that time, you also performed in DC, Taiwan. Oh yeah. So you should that tell more right about. Before- that was right. That was right before DYE formed, or was that as DYE was forming? Oh, DYE. I think that was at the beginning of DYE. Cause I think we put Tylon and DYE on the ticket. Yes. For the Prodigy yeah. show. Right, right. Prodigy. You opened up for Prodigy. What year yeah. was this? Uh. That's so like 2012. Yeah, I think it was like 2012, 2013. Cause we had just graduated, I think. So yeah. maybe it was 20. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. Cause we cause we graduated in 11. Facts. That show was that, that, that was show crazy. Was tough. When that happened, I was like, I couldn't, I, I couldn't make it. But when that shit happened, I was like, whoa. Facts. It was a huge moment for me. I couldn't even believe. Like, I, I was still baffled. Like, to the point where we actually started, and the point where we seeing him go to the dressing room and stuff. Like, I was still baffled. Couldn't believe what was going on. Yo, rest in peace, prodigy. For real. yeah, R.I.P. Man, I think today was the twenty fifth anniversary of his album, The Infamous. Today, oh yeah, that's four twenty six. Was it? Yeah, let me check. Got the info that's from now. Crazy, Nana. that's crazy. Yeah, man, that was my first real performance. Yeah. April twenty. No, it was yesterday. April twenty fifth. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, infamous twenty five. Yesterday, yesterday. Yo, but but yeah, that 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 shit was crazy, and that kind of like you know put push you further into your career. And then, so you mentioned DYE. When does DYE come into the mix? Was it uh, around this time? Yeah, it was like, it was like I guess. A I think it was a little into before. college, right? And who made up DYE? DYE, we was deep. Yeah, it was a lot. Ah, uh, yeah, that was that was the big one, right? That's the one where uh, that Mikey uh, made that music video in the warehouse with, with y'all, right? Yeah, the Grammy jump. Yo, that shit was that shit was legendary. Yo, that chain was legendary. Let's, let's try to name all the all the people in DYE. It was Twy, Damo, Shine, Dre, Talon, of course, Dre, Chase, uh, Chase. Uh, who else? John. Uh, John had bars. Who else? Yo, Dre, uh, Dre, Dre actually like Twice. still kind of makes music, right? I don't know. He does real. on and off. Um, I'm not sure. I have. I'm not sure if he hasn't put uh, anything lately. Dre, Dre, and uh, Chase, I feel like are the only ones that I've heard music from after that. Yeah, and everybody else just stopped. Oh, so everybody actually, just... remember it started with just you, Chase, and I think it was Dre. I think those were the first three. Yeah, I remember because he made that little picture. Right, right. Yeah. And then we started adding. And this was at Chase's crib, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, Damn, I hope I hope you still, I hope both of them are still making music. Cause they're they're pretty good. I, they're I might fire. be the only one, bro, still making music. Facts. 
So you went through that uh, through DYE in Shepherd. You're still in, you're in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. That's still like around the Charlestown area. So uh, you drop you guys drop a project, right? Or several projects? With DYE? Yeah. No, we just drop a whole bunch of singles. Oh, true, true, true. Okay, so that's you guys dropped a whole bunch of singles that year, that freshman year in college. Yeah. After that, were you still? What What about the the year following that? We kind of like everybody kind of like disbanded and shit. Once I went to Morgantown, you went to Morgantown that following year. I think so. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah actually, I think it was or the year after. I think actually, I think it was the year after because the year after would be the, my freshman year. And then my sophomore year, that's when Morrow goes up to Morgantown. And that's when you go up to Morgantown. And we all share that room. We all share that apartment. Yeah. So I think Life Ain't What It Seems came out our junior, I mean, uh, our freshman year. And then we made DYE our second year. And then I think that went on for another year or two. Yeah, facts. DYE, they, we tread lightly as long as we could, you feel me? But everybody, yeah, we just everybody kept wasn't as... Facts. Everybody wasn't as dedicated. There was some people making songs, some people chilling, some people chilling, some people making songs. Right, right. So, uh, tell tell us about like when you you moved to Morgantown, West Virginia, and your uh, your your career in Morgantown in uh, in general, and that's the the most current. Like that's almost the most current part of your your artistic career right now. Morgantown. It was that's probably where I, I did the most shows at for real. Did the most shows. You did the most. the most. You have a lot of music there too. You made a lot of music there too, right? Yeah, man. I tell tell like, us about your Morgantown time. Your time in Morgantown. My time in Morgantown. It was lit. It was like, it was like a low key lit for me. You feel me? Like everybody knew me, but they didn't know me. Like they didn't know I rap. They knew I DJ. You feel me? Like it was. It was funny. But everybody will always show love when they see me out. And then when I started doing all the shows. When I would walk down the streets and shit, niggas would just start yelling my name. I'm like, who is that? And they'd be like, you did that show with so-and-so, right? I was like, yeah, that was me. Like, shit. So, so you like, were DJing up there? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was like a, a slow, gradual. It was like from nobody to let's turn up with this nigga type shit. Like, oh, I know who that is type shit. You, you got to tell more about the DJing, the DJing part. The DJing was, the DJing was wild for real, like. Um, one time, did, it, did it help did, you with your music? Yeah, because it it made me think of making music in like a d- whole different aspect. Because at first I wasn't really focused on music like for turning up or music for like you know drinking and shit like that. I was just thinking for like consciously. You feel me? Like right. I got reached this person, this person's conscious or something. So when I get to Morgan Town, it's like damn, like <laughs> these niggas ain't got no conscious, like. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna reach these motherfuckers. There's no conscious right now. Like it's a lot of party heads. Yeah, fact. So it's like, all right, it, it put me in a different spot to where like I can be con- I, with my music. I want to be conscious, but at the same time, I want you to it to be enjoyable. Right, right. And you can kind of see that trajectory from where you were before with life ain't what it seems, and then once we came out with the next project, I forget what it was. It was like an EP of a few songs. Uh, but all it was the free tape. Just, yeah, the free tape. It was the pre tape, and we started getting more kind of like hype up songs out of that. Word, word. Would you say your then, environment uh, what, changes what? up a lot of your music? Yeah, definitely. Like depending on where you are or who you're definitely. with. Definitely, definitely. Like my environment pretty much is my music. Like from when I was a kid to now, for real. Who who are your like? Uh, Who'd you say like are your the artists that you take like most inspiration from? Uh. The artist I take most inspiration from? Uh, that's kind of hard for real. <laughs> or at least like throughout like your life, like you probably have probably like, like a lot of favorites. Probably like Wayne and 50. Wayne and 50? Yeah. You don't, you don't like any of the new cats out? Uh, Any of the new cats? I fuck with G Herbo and Stunna and Lil Baby. I like the... uh. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know what you're about to say. You was about to start singing that new Blueberry Fago. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you don't like uh, uh, that new uh, Blueberry Fago? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I ain't really heard it, but yeah. I ain't got no problem with it. If it come on, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. That joint is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you be cranking a... that jump? 
I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that song came out like a year ago, right? Like yeah, I think it, it, it just it, like went platinum. It didn't come out recently. I think it just went platinum now. Just because of TikTok, bro. I heard, I heard that one song. I forgot what it was called, but I think it's with Gunna, and uh, it's from the same tape. And I heard it about a year ago. I didn't know who the artist was. I just, I just used like the shuffle on SoundCloud. Yeah. And I heard of him, and I was like, okay, cool. And then I hear this song, and I found out it's the same dude. I was like, oh shit. Little Mousy, Little Mosey. Little yeah. Mosey. Stop playing with my man's. It's not Little Mousy. No. no Damn. Mousy. Little Mosey. He really is mad young though, right? Yeah, I think so. Damn, that's crazy. The kids are taking over. The MJ is about saying. to come on, so I'm gonna have to kick y'all niggas to the curb. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know that whole shit leaked already, right? The whole Joe, the whole series. <laughs> If you didn't watch the whole se- series already, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> you already watched it. Nah, I didn't watch it, but I have the files. So. Hey, send that shit Oh, you can't say that on the net. You got to cut this part out. <laughs> nah, fuck that. <laughs> no, I need that, though. Send that shit. I'll send it. I'll send it after this. But, yeah, bro. Um, So, the like, in between that, too, when Mauro moved to, uh, to Morgantown, and you moved to Morgantown at the same time, we started doing Diodos as well. Like that's when we really started doing like the the Diodos website and all that. And also at the same time, that's when you started working with um what's it called? Uh on on what's that? The EP that we worked <laughs> that we worked on the creative direction. Um the creative direction with Diodos? Yeah. Um Thailand's EP. OG Legit C P What songs is on that jump? I don't even remember the name. Feel like a man. I just like a man. Oh, Revenge of the Clout. Revenge uh, of the Clout, maybe. Yeah, that, that was an It wasn't an EP. It was an LP. Yeah, yeah, because we had seven. Bro, that shit was crank, bro. In fact, wait, did that come out when we were at the apartment, or or when we were at the Blue House? At the Beachers. I think we were at. The, yeah, I think it was on Beachers. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Ooh. that around that time. That's when like. Because when we was at the other crib, <laughs> I was. I was practicing. Um, I was practicing them other songs like Thirty Two and Steve Nash and stuff like that. Yeah, I remember those songs too. Y'all, y'all were fucking blasting that shit at the crib. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, we had them jumps on repeat, but when uh, some of them jumps we ain't drop. Like, there's a couple of them we ain't drop. Yeah, there was that, a lot. There's a that lot crib of was very energy. packed all the time. Huh? There was times where like I woke up. I was barely there. First of all. I was still in class and shit, but there was times I was there and I'm like, who are all these people <laughs> in the crib? It's just like, <laughs> every day it's like a new person. Yeah, that whole year living in Beechers, that joint was wild. Fucking Papa Look, John's right next door. Pizza every day. For breakfast, pizza lunch. every day. day. Niggas was I got tired, tired of pizza. Fucking pizza. Facts. Niggas was tired Yo, they, did, they did have that, that, uh, that uh, Asian spot next door too. Y'all, y'all, didn't, uh, y'all didn't peep. Lavender Cafe? Nah, they only had one good thing. It was, and it Your was lunch the, special. It was the beef and broccoli. You got anything else? It was nasty. Yeah, I nah, got the bro. Beef and the the spring rolls that they had were fucking fire. They had a couple good shits, but the best part was the was the prices for their lunch specials. Stop capping. It's like the only affordable thing. Besides <laughs> pizza, that shit. Yo, um, we used to so pizza. so after that, <laughs> after that, you uh, well, did, did I? I think I moved out after the. After the Blue House, I moved to New York, to Long Island, to my uh, to my fam's career, but um, we disbanded. We disbanded, uh, and you but you stayed in Morgantown and worked on music and shit. Tell us, tell me more about like that time. Like you were able to still put out like more music and stuff, and uh, DJ and shit. Um, you met new people. Did, like... Met new people. Got new gigs. Got put in bars, clubs, the new clubs. Owners was holding me down, making sure I had my bread, turning it up every night. Random females, random niggas saying. It was just fun, bro. It was a good time. I I had a lot of growing up to do though, and that shit helped me. That? that shit helped me out. Why? Why you say you had a lot of growing up to do? Cause I was. I just felt like I was just playing around too much, not taking my craft serious and what I do serious. And just taking it lightly. I learned that. You feel like that that helped you take it more serious? That and like me realizing how like important networking and relationships are. 
And did you um? So what what type of work were you doing around that time? Uh, like uh, for both on like the music, like what what music were you working on, and with who, and in what ways? Uh, I was just working on like I was just working on singles for real, and then uh, thirty two had came about, and then me and little bro started working on little projects. So I was just been making projects with little bro. How you how did you meet little bro? Uh, I met little bro through Big Mark and Geech, and I met them in Morgantown. How was that relationship like? Like, I remember you and Geech were roommates at this moment. Facts. There was well, we was roommates. We wasn't roommates when we met and shit. Like they had their spot and then I had my spot and then like. Oh okay. Then like I started uh we started clicking, and then I was already rapping and Geech had already knew I was rapping, but Mark was starting to rap too. So uh he was Geech was like there. What what can we like put all this stuff under? Cause like he was TTD and. I was rapping 32, but it wasn't like, it was, it was like my thing, but like, it wasn't really nothing like too crazy, but I had niggas right. rapping 32. And then, uh, he was cool with, with Pax and Burn too. And they was rapping SBE. So they was just like, what can we put like all these, these, uh, these little clicks under? And I was like, yeah, all the little clicks can go under 32. Like 32 could be the label and we could just put all the little clicks underneath. And then like, we all like, clicked up i met a lot of people through geech uh everybody that's in 32 pretty much i met through geech that shit was tough everybody's crazy in their own way you feel me everybody <laughs> turned up on their own accord you feel me everybody on their own man time but uh yeah that's how i met Lil bro and Lil bro wasn't even rapping when i met him like he had knew i was rapping but he wasn't even rapping yet but uh i was like nigga you want to rap we can do it like i do a few funnies here and there and then we can go crazy and then like he made, I forget what his first song was. I think he made Emergency with Mark. That joint was tough. It was a cool little first song. And I was like, Geech was like, uh, we should do duos or whatever. So I was like, all right, I'll take Lil Bro. And uh, we can just make a tape. And then it was me and Lil Bro. And it was Pax and Mark. And it was Slime and One. Then it was, I think that's it. And then Pax and uh, Mark made a jump called Slab Boys. Me and Bro made a jump called Full Throttle. And then these are the tape names. Yeah. And then uh, Slime and One made a jump called Trap Next Door. I don't know if they dropped it or not. But yeah. Right. Me and Lil Bro made that joint, and we got we got some good feedback. Like now, uh, now is the most played song off of that joint. Like people people love that song now. That joint me and Bro dropped. That was like the third song on it. They love that joint and Blappy. Them joints going crazy off of the full throttle. Then me and Lil Bro came back and dropped another uh, project called Aparasi. And mm. just hit them back to back. You feel me? Like people fucking with, off of that joint, people fucking with the Maniac joint. What else? Maniac and uh, Bodyguards. Bodyguards is going crazy right now. Bodyguards is going crazy. When did Aparasi come out? Uh, I think Aparasi came out last year. Last year in October. Right. How was uh working like in that way, like with all those artists like together with uh, all those people trying to work on stuff together? How was that? How did that change like your process of making music versus how did, when you did it like on your own or with? Uh, well, you know, the, the best thing we the best thing that ever happened was that we had multiple mics. Like we didn't all have to share the same studio, so oh. that's what made everything easier and more enjoyable because everybody still got their space and everybody still got their time to record. So it was easy in that sense. That was the bad thing in our groups before. Yeah, but like, we always had one we equipment of everything. <laughs> so niggas had to wait their turn. <laughs> yeah, that was tough. Well, what's your, what's your? Oh, and uh, before going into that, like um, you mentioned, uh, you were working with like a bunch of different cliques, and one of them was uh, was uh, with TTD. Yeah. And it just reminded me, like, uh, uh, that you had a song with uh, Kabi, like a yeah. few songs with Kabi, right? Rest in peace, Kabi. Uh, All right, rest in peace, Kabi. Um, can you t- tell us more about like uh, your relationship with Kabi and uh, your working relationship with Kabi, personal and working relationship? Yeah, that he pushed everybody for real. Like when he got into the studio, it was no like playing around. Like every time we got in the studio, something was getting done with Kabi. Whether it was half a song, whether it was full song, whether it was you know what I'm saying a hook. You feel me? Something got done, and I feel like he pushed a lot of a lot of artists, and he made a lot of people better than what they really were. It's crazy. He. Uh... 
like he pushed out his his debut album, correct? Yeah, part one of it. So he put he he dropped his de- uh part one of his debut album, and then that's when the news came out that he passed away. Yeah. Do we know? Do we know why or how he passed away? I know he OD, but I'm not sure. On right, right. But yeah, I mean, I I just remember like, cause he we I also put him on the first splash series that we did and yeah. um i just remember like i, I was so excited for it right it was it was uh it was a song it was called it was with leak two heat and it was uh, like something rap something rap uh right. but yeah i just remember like he had so much energy and i was like yeah, no doubt i was just like waiting for him to just drop more stuff facts that's why i was always in this nigga dm like nigga where the mixtape at like where the where the songs at nigga he was taking care of his family i, I respect that he would always hit up the Diodos DMs, always when we put up uh, right. anything new with love and everything shit like that. It was dope. Yeah, All he right. showed us. Yeah, he showed us a lot of support, like hitting us up on DMs too. Um, uh, he, where is he? Where is he? He's from Marsburg, right? Yeah, he's from Marsburg yeah. with Geech. Word, word. word. Okay, the I see. Berg. I see. So it's the Berg, the Berg. So, so back on the, uh, so back on the getting together with. Um, 32 all the groups all the 32 in the click uh what what is like another way y'all looked at music at the time because i feel like i feel like maybe like the perspective of like how y'all treated music or how you treated music before versus like once you have all these people now you're more focused on like getting it out there more and trying different things what are some of the things that like you guys tried to like promote your music how did you guys get it out there more um i guess we're just using more ads more ads yeah like instagram ads yeah, and YouTube app. Really? How does that work? Um, I don't know. Isaac does it for us. Isaac's like one of our managers, one of our side managers that helps out with a lot of shit. Oh shit! So, so yeah, we're doing you... ads right now. How is the? Uh, you guys also like try to do more live shows together as well in Morgantown, right? Yeah. How how was the? Uh, how did you guys go about like getting? those shows um mainly uh we had connects for real like somebody either plugged us in whether it was dj yemi or dj pop somebody will always plug us in right i see mom shout or john yemi, shout, out pop. shout out dj yemi shout out dj pop uh yeah yemi's throwing a lot of big name shows down there too yeah he been I think, on that he, he been on that yeah yemi palooza yemi palooza oh, he just did one with uh, Jack Harlow, right? Yeah, I think so. As a headliner, I really yeah, fuck with that. He did. And then before that was, um, I think he did. Before that was Lil Skies, right? Uh, he's done a couple in between that, honestly. Like he's done Cute Fool, Lil Skies. Yeah, he's done a couple. He's done. He's done endless. Word. So you were you were able to be a part of that too, and he also like. DJ's a lot over there, so he probably put. Did he put you onto a lot of like shows and stuff, like to DJ? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like he gave you looks and stuff. Yeah, like I uh, DJ one time. I, I uh DJ before Huey Matt came on. That was cool. He's, he he looked out. That's dope. <laughs> I didn't know what wow, to say. This is an unstructured interview, bro. Uh, my thing has the monitor thing on. <laughs> and action, action. All right. So it came to my attention via Maro that we skipped a little bit of timeline stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what did we miss? Um, quarantined. I think we missed quarantined. I think we no, oh, that's present that. though. That's right now, bro. The fuck? Yeah, right, that's right now. That. Or did we miss anything before that? I uh, I thought you said we missed something like in Morgantown uh, or before that. Nope. Nope. Oh shit. All right, well, <laughs> quarantine. How are you holding up in quarantine? Tell us about now. Like, what you working on? What you want us to know about? Uh, quarantine. A little four song EP that I made. You know what I'm saying? On the inside, wishing I was out. But it ain't like Wait, that. wait what'd you say? I think it kind of cut off. I said Quarantine is... Oh, there's a song called Quarantine coming out. Or an EP. Yeah, it's already out. 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank, Bless you. thank you. How many but how yeah. many songs are on it? Four songs. What? Oh yeah, there's four songs. I made it on the inside, wishing I could be on the outside. <laughs> During the quarantine. That profound. During, during the quarantine, I was stuck in the quarantine. I was like, man, I'm, I got some shit that I wish I was outside right now and everybody could dance to. I'm going to drop this. So when we get out this quarantine, people going to go back to the quarantine tape and be like, yeah, these are the songs that we needed when we was in quarantine and we couldn't turn up to, you feel me? Facts, facts. We may be quarantined physically, but we're not quarantined mentally. Facts. Damn, Let trying know. to be profound out here. <laughs> Yo, so what, what, what have y'all been up? What have y'all been doing trying to uh, during the quarantine? I've been listening to to Talon's EP. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even listen to to the EP yet. What I think uh, the most has been played right now. Hold on, I can look at it right now. I got the stats. It's because it's because you got suspended from Twitter, bro. I was like, <laughs> I saw your shit. You were promoting it, and then I was like, Yo, when is it gonna drop? And then I go to your page, and it's like this account has been suspended. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I still. What got happened, this. bro? I don't know what happened, man. They don't, Twitter not rocking with me right now. Talon tweeted the wrong shit. Bro, <laughs> got his ass quarantine is going the craziest in Wisconsin right now. Wisconsin? In Wisconsin? In Wisconsin. It's probably because it's probably because they uh they went on with their election when they weren't supposed to, so that's nice. They're all sick listening so, to so quarantine. Like, Damn. We should have listened to quarantine and stay home. Yeah. Quarantine and critical are the top played songs on Spotify. I'm about to go to Apple. <clears throat> so, so tell us about the tape actually because it, it kind of came about like in an interesting way how did how did it come about uh well they asked me well not not i got invited to join this competition or this uh what do they call contest whatever right and um it was a new flow, new year contest, and like the best flow that entered the contest, they would they would win some prizes. And I entered my my video, my free base video that uh that uh Mikey edited, it. and that joint went crazy. Like they said, that was the best one. Like I had the best flow with that song, and it's crazy because like that song's really old. Like I entered the contest. <laughs> this is a 2020 contest, and I and new I new year new flow, and I used the old flow. You know, feel me. Oh, uh, old flow. Yo. That shit was from like 2017, Yo. I think. 2017. These new flows like my old flow. <laughs> like an old flow beat out everybody's new flow. You feel me? And like so since I won, they gave me um, they gave me some money. They gave me some beats. They said they mastered the songs, and then that's how the quarantine tape came about. Tape came about. I was just like, I bet y'all gonna give me all this free shit. You know what I'm saying? Might as well make a tape with it. Right. Nice. Make good use of it. Facts. So right here. that whole thing was produced by Young Icy. Young Icy. Shout out to Support Art for looking out. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, how was the the creation of it? Like, was it just you? Um, quarantine, basically. I'm guessing. Yeah. It was just me because I was in quarantine, so I was the only one in here. What are your What are your thoughts on like uh, like music making process now? Like. How do you find your producers and shit? How do you find your people like engineering and and um then how do you market it? How do I find them? Yeah. I usually just work with the same people, honestly. Who you who you working with these days? Uh I'm working with Turner. Shout, Shout out, out to Turner. Turner. Shout out to Turner. I'm working who has with, been a guest on the show. I'm working with Burn. Shout out to Burn. Shout out to Burn. Shout out to Burn. Who we want to have on the show. Uh, I'm working with Maestro. Maestro, shout yeah, out Fiji to Maestro. Uh, Who's the last one? Who else I'll be working with? That's three. And they're gonna be really mad if you forget about them on this on this interview. <laughs> they be like, Damn. super mad, super mad. <laughs> hey man, a lot of people I could have worked with, but they was you know what I'm saying on that fish. They, they was like, Damn. yo, so are you playing a lot of uh, Animal Crossing these days? <laughs> Animal Crossings. <laughs> well, you you are you playing a lot of video games these days? A lot of video <laughs> games. Spaced out. Muff bro. Up, muff up. Him. He's high as he's smacked. No, he just bro, got some new. <laughs> Yo, he just hit the news. Hit the phone, bro. 
With nah, the new tank. Yo, fault. his jaw went. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who the f- this is, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. He taking that, uh, they're going to be mad uh, that he forgot comment, seriously. Hey, who is the last producer that I'll be vibing with? Yo, it's okay. After this is over, you retweet this and be like, I'm sorry, at producer. Like, give him a special shout out. Look at him, he's getting itchy. Who was going <laughs> fucking full throttle? Let's, let's pull it up. We are on we got all this technology. computers. We can't, we can't be fucking... <laughs> We're over here trying to remember everything. Yeah, what the fuck? My memory is only offloaded on the computer. Just, just go to Talon SoundCloud and you got his whole history right there. It's not the whole history, though. Talon has a lot of songs that aren't on SoundCloud. Well, up, to, up to 2015, maybe. 2014. So, full throw. Oh, shit. I, didn't, I don't see any producers. It's just Lil Bro, Lil Bro, Lil Bro. <laughs> I nope. guess I'll have to listen to the song. Damn, that's crazy. Y'all only, y'all only crediting your producers on the... <laughs> wait, for what? Quarantine? Right, on, on, the, on the Spotify, on the Spotify. What? I thought we did. What well, we did on... Wait, Netflix. oh wait, show credit. Okay, okay. Crenshaw Carter. We have here... Who is that? Who's, who's Crenshaw Carter? QZ. Uh, <laughs> shout out um, to him. Brenton Caba? Coba? Burn. Burn. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm airing out all the governments out here. Yeah, it's, all all go. it's, it's all Spotify. It's all Spotify. Chase M. I don't know. All the governments. Remember the Xfinity login? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Skylar Sigmund. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Sky Cook'em. Oh, yeah. Sky Cook'em. <laughs> Y'all are the ones putting the governments out here, not me. Yeah, that's too funny. Hey, tell I out. literally just right click, look at the credits. I can't even do that it's on my not, phone. It's like FBI. They treat me like I'm the FBI informant out here. That's we found right. him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck games are you playing now? Uh, my fault. I'm playing... Uh, are you Fortnite, still playing 2K? Fortnite because of y'all. Yo, shout out to Fortnite. Ooh, catch me on Twitch. We just started <laughs> catch me on playing Twitch, that catch back. Me on Twitch. We just started playing that back. We can't build Yo. yet, but we gonna get there. Did you um, guys see the uh, Travis Scott uh, concert? Yeah. <laughs> A lot don't make it that much. I thought it was fire. It was all right. I mean, it gave. If I was, especially if I was watching it on headaches. I feel bad for anybody that watched it with epilepsy. Yo, I mean that's uh, any video game, bro. That's why. That's why all the Game Boy games started out with if you have epileptic seizures, like be careful. <laughs> if you have seizures, that's be like, careful. And that, sh- and that shit's and that shit's in black and white too. I be that's try- the game. I be trying to play two K, but that joint be making me mad. You feel me? I gotta watch my anger issues. You feel me? Damn. Like, Will there ever be a time where you throw? <laughs> I'm not about to say the N word. <laughs> nah, there will never be a time where I get that mad guy through my controller. Wait, isn't that why you got suspended from Twitter? You said the N word with a hard R. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah, what the fuck? Bro, I didn't say it like I was, Yo, it, Jack, but I was Jack Dorsey expressing be wild, myself. Bro. I was expressing myself. Somebody else called me that, and I was explaining it on Twitter. So they banned me. It's like Yo. you can't even explain this word to us. We don't get it. It's it. That's it's crazy. Bad. I didn't know that was a thing. I like me neither, man. I guess I have been seeing that word less on Twitter these days. They're not playing, bro. They really went all lives, all lives matter on us. <laughs> um, but I mean, are you ever gonna get your Twitter account back? I don't know. They they let me like look at like the stuff that's trending, but I can't look at my DMs. Talon's behind bars right now. <laughs> yeah, Talon's like this Squidward <laughs> meme that's like watching SpongeBob and Patrick play outside. Uh, He's like, I can't tweet. I can't outside. like nothing. I can't retweet. You can't even like. Nah, he can just bro. watch his friends have fun on Twitter. That's what I can do, bro. They made me unfollow everybody. Like, I can't see y'all tweet. I got to go to y'all profiles. Oh, damn. Uh, what's uh, what's your favorite social media? My favorite social media would probably have to be uh, Snapchat, because that's the one you can actually seclude everybody from. Damn. I hate Snapchat. I'm not going to lie. That's my favorite one. Damn, that's crazy. That's like I, that's like private life, uh, private life uh, social media, for real. It's like, the only, it's like the only people you want on like you want fuck with on social media that's on your snap i guess i i i can't get on anymore i mean well i get on sometimes to see like our group chat but um i, I turn off the notification so it's like every once in a while i see all the messages but i don't really catch it that often i'm i'm more of an instagram whore yeah you're definitely an instagram whore you all up Straight in instagram up. i'm all up in there all of them. <laughs> I don't be um, on no social media. Hit me up on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> hit me up on Reddit. Mario said, "Hit me up on the Tor browser." <laughs> what kind? 
what uh groups you in on Reddit? Huh? What kind of groups you in on Reddit? What kind of groups am I in? Data is beautiful. Damn, if that's you, real nerd shit. If you if you haven't visited Data is beautiful on Reddit. Yo, you're gonna you're gonna love our next guest tomorrow. Um he's a he's a <laughs> a he's a nerd astronaut. he's a future astronaut he's a nerd he's a nerd damn can we finish no, but I, mean, I mean that damn. in the best way i mean that in the best way he's he's trying to be he's trying to work for nasa straight up this man renzo calls me a nerd and then he's like you're gonna love our next guest bro. <laughs> you're gonna love our next nerd, nerd. <laughs> bro shout out to the nerds though yeah shout Thanks, out to bro. the nerds man <laughs> doing the dirty work the dirty work i mean i just can't think that hard that's why i gotta rely on him like just do the thinking for me and i'll coast <laughs> yo speaking of thinking nigga um, you a nerd <laughs> <laughs> i try so hard yeah. to separate <laughs> it's okay bro you didn't know he was in the group the whole time you gotta be dumb bro <laughs> yeah, i'm like the i'm like the uh that spongebob meme i'm sorry that spider-man meme that's like pointing at himself <laughs> rents of talks and memes <laughs> In fact, <laughs> yo, that's the only way, bro. It's like the new modern hieroglyphics. <laughs> Every single time something comes out, he's like, yo, it's like that meme. You remember that meme? <laughs> yo, see? See, nerds know words. I know memes. Yeah, that's too funny. Um, Yo, so uh, what's your favorite um, academ- I Am Academics video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? there was a time where I would walk in, in into a room, and y'all were all watching academics straight up, <laughs> like it was CNN. Like, yeah, whole time. Don't lie to me. That's because that's because I'm airing it out. That's because, but that's like back in the day, though, bro. This was before academics actually had a platform, bro. Like this is this ac- is pre this is when ac- this is pre Takashi. Yeah, this is when academics was literally just making fun of Chicago people, and the Chicago people was not tolerating it at all, bro. He was giving them all types of names that they wasn't having, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, that man went wild too, bro. Yeah, bro. That man was wilding. It was not planned. I'm with just him. like trying to remember his voice and shit. But like when he would talk about that shit, he just I don't know. He got a lot of fame off of the Chicago names and stuff like that. So they was making sure he would put respect on it, and then he yeah. actually blew up. And then that's when I stopped listening to him because it was it He's was all, cool it was all water down power. industry, industry boys. He was really trying to follow the industry too much. Who who is uh who's like the who's like the voice right now in the like interview wise like uh not interview wise like news wise or podcast wise like in the hip hop world? Uh, I don't know, bro. People say they uh they be on say cheese a lot. If I had say to say cheese. anything, I would I would probably say say cheese. Shut up! I have to check them out. Fine. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Um, I remember y'all was on the uh, Two Dope Boys Heavy. That old school. Shout out. They're still up, up and at them. That's where, uh, that's when y'all was on Chance Heavy. That joint, that era was fire. That's uh, early Kendrick Lamar, too. Wait, did Two Dope Boys break Chance? I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. Remember. They probably I did. Remember, they, broke, they broke Kendrick, though. I remember They that. broke a couple people. Yeah. There was a lot of, blo- like... Those blogs that were like repost and post themselves, mm-hmm. there was a lot of that going on. That was, was like a that was a hard, that was a dope era. There was an era where like blogs had a lot of power. They had a lot of say in what happened. In the a lot of them got community. bought up. Now social media is everything. Yeah, those are the mic the blogs. The, those it's funny blogs, how kind of this, it kind of like went from big companies to like smaller pods of stuff, and then into individual things in social yeah. media. I would say I would say it's back to being like well there are a lot of independent companies I would say that that have a lot of power but I still think a lot of it is ran by the industry. Like, I mean de- definitely but I, I still think individually people have a lot more power nowadays. Yeah, you don't have to sign if you don't want to now. Are you would you sign? Hell no. Why? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> throw the question back at you you got me <laughs> why, no, for real, like, why not what what, what what drives people to sign in the first place i don't even because i feel like they just want it right then and right now that initial check bro most people are making uh money off of their tours and merch but that initial check yeah it's that i ain't gotta wait i'm here now like it's a loan though right yeah is that what it's, it is? it's definitely a loan but if you sell enough it's really just a 
a check. Because you're going to get the money back. But, well, most most don't. Most do. It's just all about how they spend their money. But I want to say. It's all about that contract. Time. Yeah, it is. I want to sign. I would sign, like, distribution deals, like, stuff like that to help me market. But I'm not signing a major. Yeah. Just, I feel like you have to have, like, a good lawyer to, like, get you a good deal. Yeah, facts. Right. Shout out to the lawyer. Do, do you, uh, do you, uh, I follow this one lawyer on Twitter that is pretty cool. I forget his name. Um, but he always tweets shit about, like, the industry, like, the music industry. And, um, I don't know. He shares, like, pretty useful info about, like, protecting your rights against, like, big major label uh profiteering yeah they be trying to steal nigga shit we want to run up on this word damn bro careful and so is there is there anything else you want to add to like that you want to talk about that you want to uh, like put out there like what type of vision do you want for the world type shit or Shoo, the world right now the world what type of We're in a tough time i just want everybody to keep their head on straight you know look out for one for one another don't worry too much about big news and money and what you're going to do next week. Just enjoy the time that you got right now with Facts. the people that you have right now because we don't know how long it's going to last. Facts. Especially what's with up, this lockdown. What's mm-hmm. up next for uh, OG or Mo Duce? What's up next for me? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm transitioning in my music, so... It's going to be less rap and more vibe. All right, but <laughs> <laughs> What you laughing at, Mara? Sorry, I had a... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen his face cringing up. <laughs> Yo. Yo, what y'all think about this remote interview stuff? It's funny. I think it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Easy way to enter somebody's mind without having to get their germs. New facts. Big facts. facts. <laughs> I ain't trying to get y'all's germs. <laughs> like, Quarantine or not. Or COVID or not. COVID or not. You know what I'm saying? After COVID, niggas about to have sausage with fucking masks and shit. Niggas about to be bringing the Clorox, the wipes. Yo, hazmat suits. Oh my gosh. Niggas not even going to be dabbing up. Niggas going to be doing a head nod. All head nods. <laughs> Yo, you know, that's crazy. Fuck. Like, this is never going to be like truly over or like going back to normal. We're just going to be. Yeah, facts. Adapting in a different way. Facts. <laughs> this shit, we are not going back. Might as well just stay home at that point. Too. <laughs> that, that's what I was thinking about, too. Like, you think people just going to be like, all right, back to the regular? No. <laughs> back to the regular? No, I'd be scared. Like, go back to the office and shit. Right. I don't even. Like, don't somebody even cough around me, bro. Somebody cough around me, bro. They got they to square up. Bro, I coughed in CVS yesterday or whatever. And Why? Every, my throat was itchy. I would have <laughs> Think it was the backwards. Like some backwards to sneak up on you. The tobacco. In the back of your mind, you're like coronavirus. What happened? <laughs> Everybody stared at you. Yeah, it's okay though. I mean, mug them. Back. Everybody was like that meme where they look back and we're just like, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Meme boy. <laughs> meme boy. That's my rap name. You're like Chocolate Boy from Hey Arnold, but you do memes and. Hey Arnold. Stoop kill. No, nah, you yeah, see my holographic Tupac. That's your oh, shit. Who, the, who the uh who the, who who's your top your top one rapper? The best rapper. Top one? Yeah, your best rapper ever. <laughs> who's your top one rapper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know anymore. I just let the Spotify algorithm play. <laughs> Who's your all-time great? Who holds that number one spot? Damn. I don't know. Favorite album? Nomadic. You respect. I think I think that's the top album of all time. You respect. What do you think? Sure. I think the top album of all time is 50 Cent, The Massacre. Ooh, okay. The Massacre? Yeah. Not even Get Rich? Nah, the massacre was crazy. What was on the massacre again? Like Candy Shop and Twenty One Questions and all them jumps. I thought Twenty One Questions was on Get Rich. For, for real? We got, we got our computers in front of us. Shit, we do got computers. And shit. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I'm still in between. Um, yo, I, honestly, I'd probably say Travis, straight up, 
Travis yeah, Scott. Oh, that's favorite favorite al- artist of all time. Yeah. Favorite artist of all time. Hmm, that's tough. Respect. Uh, let's see. What's uh? What do we got? Fifty. I mean, I, I thought Rendo yeah, was gonna say Toro Emoy. Yo, that's that's not a, he's not a rapper. <laughs> Thomas is trying to go at you. Look at him. It's Chibi's <laughs> laugh. Yo, to- Toro Emoy though. If he was a rapper, he'd probably be my number one. Though. Yeah, P I M P is Get Richard I Trying in the clubs. Get Richard I Trying. Oh, what up, gangster? Twenty one questions. Wangster. Polo Rich. Wait, that's Get Richard I Trying. Yeah. Dang, what's on the massacre? Uh. On the massacre, candy shop. Tom the just loves has, candy shop. But the massacre has piggy bank, candy shop, uh, disco <laughs> inferno, <laughs> just a little bit. Little switch on the meat there. You gotta press it. So amazing. Click a T. Hater, hater, love it remix. Wait, where's no hater? Hater, love it is on the games album. Yeah. Click a T. Clink. Damn, Damn, that was golden era for me, though. For real. Oh no, then. There's 21 questions and uh, what's the name? It's tough. I'd have to say Get Rich. That's a, that's probably my favorite. That's a, that's like definitely my first, the first album that I cop. That drink got actually that's a lie. The first album that I cop was the Baja Men. That drink got endless hits, man. That's crazy. That's why I look for in albums like songs that like that you could turn up to, and then songs that's also like, dang, I play this drink all over and over again. Like this drink. After this interview, that's all Taiwan's gonna be listening to. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, big long shit. That shit crazy. That nigga Fifty did that, man. I'm sorry. All right, we broke the one hour mark. But I'm out of here, y'all man. Should, Fuck y'all, y'all, y'all niggas. I love y'all, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I think we're gonna wrap it up. We had a good interview. I'm gonna listen to this back, see how it sounds. Um, and then I'll. I'll pass it. I'll pass it to y'all to see how it sounds, and y'all let me know. Should we do it again, or are we Gucci? Should we, we should do this every Sunday. Just commentate on life. Every Sunday while playing Fortnite. Uh, yeah. We should do thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thirty minutes Fortnite. Ooh, fire! I don't know. I'm down. Shit. Renzo just wants us to stream. He's like, he's like, <laughs> he's like yes, they're all about to come into the streaming world. Content. <laughs> Content, content. Content, content. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all too. Who got my money? Who trying to give me some of their stimulus?